We are here. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is yeah. Chris here, photographer. You are the videographer? Photographer. Oh, okay, okay. Your videographer is here. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, good eh? morning. No one's a photographer. Photographer. Yeah. Can, he, can she show me other than her butt? Mm, 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 mm. So usually before the uh, veiling of the bride, we will we will get the parents to sit down and just speak a blessing over the bride, and uh, it's usually a very personal, a very intimate, and um, tends to be a very emotional time uh, for both the family and for the bride and I guess this also creates a good memory for them on their wedding day. So what happened right after this was that the groom Zi Guang arrived and there was a mini car door opening ceremony by the cousin and right after that we proceeded with the simple gate crashing games um, of guessing Michelle's um, facial features right after that we went upstairs We'll help with household chores <laughs> I will treat my parents like a own I will treat <laughs> Okay, so what happened next was that the videographer wanted to stage some shots of the dad opening the umbrella and uh, walking with Michelle out of their condo lobby. So I have already staked out a location. I want to get this nice reflection of the uh, of dad with uh, Michelle walking out of that uh, bright corridor that you see there. So I just stayed there and waited. Okay, we are done with the bride's coverage. Now going over to the groom's house. Okay, so here you can see that um, it's the little nephew jumping on the bed, uh, kind of signifying like a uh, fruitfulness for the couple. But you can see that uh, the he wasn't really in the mood to do so. So I guess uh, at times like this, when it involves uh, little kids, I think uh, it, all we can do is to be patient and not to um, force them or anything. Yeah, I, I I know I know from experience because you know I have two kids myself. So yeah, we, we just had to wait for the proper moment. Okay, so right here you can see that we are doing some sort of a car chase scene. I usually don't do this uh, sort of shots because I'll be driving on the wedding day and uh, it's very unsafe to drive and take these shots at the same time. However, I was sitting on the videographer's car 
um, and they wanted to do this shot so I decided to grab some shots as well um, they kind of uh, directed the bridal car as to what speed to drive etc um, I think that when doing these shots number one safety always comes first uh, never we never never jeopardize um, the safety of especially the bride and groom and the bridal party for any photo or any video so in this next segment um, we were doing the couple portraits and bridal party shoot so uh, I had suggested to go to Bishan Amokyo Park because it was very near their homes so when we arrived there the light was beautiful uh, as you can see here in the video um, I took some time to take photos of the a couple first because the bridal party was still making their way over so um, what we do usually during these shoots is that we try not to walk too far because usually the bride would be dressed in her bridal gown and um, it's also actually when the light is beautiful it's also actually very hot so what we did here was that we found this nice um, little patch of of grass and foliage and we, we just decided to do the whole shoot in front of this area as well as you can see that there's a shaded area on the right hand side of the video um, yeah so what we usually do we'll look for nice light we'll look for a simple yet not distracting background um, so during these shoots we, we try to keep it very casual I'll just be talking to the I'll just be talking to the bride and groom we, we, we are not trying to do too many poses or anything we are just having a conversation and I'm kind of just facilitating a conversation between the bride and groom so and we'll just document whatever shots that we can get from there okay so right after the couple portraits uh, what we did manage to record here was actually the um, group shots together with the entire bridal party as well as the starting of the bridesmaids uh, photo shoot the reason being the that my um, GoPro went out of went out of battery and uh, I, I just didn't want to just interrupt the shoot to change the battery so anyway what you see here what we actually do is that we'll, we'll we gather the whole uh, bridal party together to grab some shots as well and after that um, we got some shots together with uh, the entire bridesmaids party all the girls so um, right after this you will see in the video above is a segment that I really like you know what I usually do is that we'll get the bridesmaids to go up one by one to the bride and to share some uh, wedding blessings with her and these and and these moments tend to be very very real and to be very emotional so right after this uh, we went back to the bride's place the videographers wanted to do a shoot with her and right after that I took some time to take some photos of uh, her as well Okay guys, so just finished the morning coverage, going home to do the express highlights right now. Then after that, we'll take a rest and then head to Crown Plaza. See ya! Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to our video. I just want to do a quick shout out to the giveaway that we'll be doing. At the end of every month, we'll be giving away one free couple shoot to a lucky couple. To win this is very simple, all you have to do is to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below uh, on why you would like to win this couple shoot. So we will choose the most creative answer and uh, we will we'll inform you accordingly. Thank you.